of O are intermediate. And so here, uh, if we pull that out, here we've solved for it in terms of K1 uh, times O3 over K minus 1 times O2. So we just brought those to the other side. You could have also used the equilibrium uh, constant here instead of the rate constants. Either one is OK. Uh, so now we've solved for it here and we can put it down into this expression here. So we are going back to our overall expression uh, that we wrote. So the overall, the expression that we wrote based on this was 2K2 times the concentration of our intermediate times the concentration of O3. Now we uh, substitute in for the intermediate. So we have 2 times K2, K1. Uh, we have O3 and an O3, so that's squared over uh, K minus 1 times O2. And this can also be expressed in terms of K observed, putting those terms together, O3 squared over O2. And that would be the answer to what the rate is for that particular proposed mechanism. So let's think about if that's true, what we should expect if we do some experiments what we should expect about the order of the reactions and what would happen if you double concentrations of things and look for the effect. So if you're going to test this uh, proposal, what we would get? So what is the overall order uh, of this uh, rate law here? Oh, wait, sorry. The order first, let's do of O3. Two. So if we double the concentration of O3, what would you expect to see in terms of the rate? It will what? Yep, quadruple. What is the overall order of O2? Or o order of O2? And that is a clicker question, actually. So you know what some people think. And uh, not only tell me the order, but tell me the effect of doubling. Okay, let's just take 10 more seconds. Very good. Okay. screen is having trouble. All right, so the overall order minus 1, that's what it means if it's on the bottom of that equation there. And so if we double it, then it should half. So overall, then, what is the order of the reaction? It's 1. And so remember, you can uh, sum up the order of the individual ones to get the overall order. So the overall order is 1. And what about if you double both things, what's going to happen to the rate? Yes. 